My name is Antonio Blanco. I did my first degree in North American University, uh, BA, International Business Administration. And years later, I decided to come back and do my master's in disaster management and sustainable development. Uh, currently, I'm working in response teams uh, in higher education. After I, I finished my undergraduate, I worked for a business, business company and the marketing department. Uh, after a while, I decided to uh, go different path and try security. I work uh, in different um, jobs in security, uh, cross protection, uh, response teams in festivals. And I thought that that's the path I wanted to follow as well. I use my skills uh, and in administration within the job, but I wanted to do more the operational. So to be able to do that, uh, had to do a master's degree and the right choice was to do with uh, Northumbria. I could have chosen security management as a master's degree, but there will be narrow uh, options for me in the future. That's why I decided to do disaster management instead. Something as, as simple uh, as not having electricity in the university it can be a disaster. There's no IT, no computers. That can affect also freezers. Departments, they might have uh, cancer cells in freezers and they're run by electricity. So it could be worth, uh, that material could be worth a million pounds. The, the effect, it can be disastrous. So to have things in place, it could save a lot of money and, and lives. Um, so it's extremely important to have people who are uh, professionals in disaster management. The first six months, um, were modules to give you a, a foundation. So even um, politics, the politics of uh, um, uh, disaster management, for instance, uh, I had no idea about it. So that gave me more insight that actually the, the emergencies uh, can be applied to such disasters. And to be aware of that as well, not just the operational part of it, but also the, the policies behind it and protocols to follow. I decided in Northumbria, not just because the wonderful university, but also uh, the city itself. It's very friendly people. Coming from Spain for a nice and warm weather, it's a big decision for me to choose uh, uh, the, the city and, and Newcastle was the, the right choice. One of the attractive things was that as well, uh, was that there was a discount for uh, former uh, students. Um, the staff was, I, I, I would have not done the course or finished the course without their help. I was working full time, 12 hour shifts, days and nights and weekends. And, and I did the course full time as well, which uh, staff were very helpful. When I could not attend the lessons, I'll have a private meetings uh, with them and they will give me the, the information needed for me to, to be up to date. With, uh, with the material and the course. Definitely without them, uh, there was no way I, I could have finished. Um, currently, I, I work um, as a first responder, but also I work for um, major incident, um, emergency incidents in, in my institution, where I work for, uh, uh, in a project in, in major incidents. I'm working with them to implement uh, emergency planning as well. And, and keep it up to date.